Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to stain your deck. Maybe you're watching this video because you do need to stain your deck, or you just like watching how things get done. Well, keep on watching because I'm gonna take you from start to finish, and the whole entire five-step procedure from preparation all the way to deck staining to turn your pressure-treated, unfinished deck into a beautiful, sealed, and protected outdoor space. Let's go. The first step in preparation is to remove everything off of your deck, railings, and steps. And once the deck is bare, the second step is to tighten those screws. Over time, screws or nails can become loose or exposed as the wood dries out. So grab your drill or hammer and get those screw or nail heads even with the deck boards. Tightening will reinforce the deck and prevent your sponge mop or rags from getting caught as you stain. Washing the surface area is your third step. You can use a garden hose and nozzle, however you'll get the best results with a pressure washer. Attach the wand, the nozzle, and the multiple hoses, and after connecting that garden hose, Run the sprayer until there is a continual flow of water and then go ahead and turn on the washer. Start spraying from a generous distance as this tool has a lot of force and can damage surfaces. The force will increase the closer the nozzle gets to the object. You can easily clean outdoor surfaces that would typically take forever using a brush and a lot of manual labor. A pressure washer is a very good investment for any homeowner. And step number four is a little bit of sanding. This is the sander using an 80 grit sandpaper. This should get rid of all of the rough edges. You hit your toe on there. You may want to take a closer look at your deck for areas that may quickly become problematic. Sanding is not always necessary, however, I wanted to remove those really rough areas before adding the stain. This is a very good example of how you easily get splinters. That's probably about three millimeters. So I'm gonna sand that, flatten it out and it'll be a lot better to walk on. So now it's just flush with the rest of the wood. I'll continue doing it. It's nice and smooth. Get rid of that dust with a leaf blower. A broom will also work. Lastly, pick out your stain color for step number five, staining the deck. Stain is a lot thinner than paint, so it's almost like pouring water. You've got to go extra slow. I'm going to try the trick where you use your painter's tape to kind of create a spout. is my area where I'm not looking at all the time. It's kind of hidden away. I wanted to kind of get a feel for how the stain works, how I use the brushes, how I use the sponges. I think it looks nice. I like the color. It's called Honey Teak. What do you think? Painting is probably one of my least favorite things to do for projects, you know, but this is good experience. I'm trying to get all of the easier parts done first. So this section here I can't use with the sweeper. And under here, I'm gonna do with the brush as well because it doesn't fit the, the broom sweeper. And I've done the posts. So one, two, three, four. My dog wants to come outside. She's not allowed yet. I am going to continue on doing these posts. So I have a bunch left. And then I'll do the railings and the deck last. Gloves. Have to wear gloves. end of the day I'm gonna have to pack it up until tomorrow luckily the forecast has Sun for the next couple days which is perfect and tomorrow is going to be some touch-ups and I will finish the deck so see you tomorrow it's early in the morning I'm gonna have some coffee give myself some energy to finish the final day of my deck staining project I have half a gallon left 
I need to open up a new can of stain. I'm gonna blend them together just in case one of the tints is off just by a little bit. And if I blend them together, it has a better chance of looking the same for the rest of the deck. I was using the broom and handle and I did not like that it wasn't going in between the cracks. And if I was looking at it because the deck itself right now is so light that I don't want to see light in between the cracks. Things that are going really well right now, um, I'm almost done, so that's good. Things that aren't going so great, it's really hard to tell if the color is the same. It dries so quickly, and then the dry against the wet, it's really hard to see what is finished, what didn't have enough stain, what has too much stain. So that's a learning process. I don't mind the color contrast so much. It's gonna fade over time anyways, and at least it's now smooth. I think it looked good. Nothing feels as great as when you are almost done a big project that you've been putting off for a while. And today is a perfect day to be staining a deck. It's cloudy, you have a little bit of breeze in the air, and there's not any pounding sun, which is perfect. Well, here I am sitting on the deck 48 hours later. I really like the way everything turned out. It looks like a brand new deck and I'm really happy that I'm not gonna have to do this again for another couple years. I think it's gonna weather really nicely. And next time I end up doing this deck stain, I'll have this experience behind me and I will learn from that. Now, after looking at the deck compared to these benches, they are worn and I think they need a good sand and stain. Probably a good fall project. Mm -hmm.